Hi, welcome back everyone. It's Delisa and this is Delisa's Life Dance where we talk about health, wellness, and what? Positivity. Positivity. Mindset. So I want to say welcome to everybody that watches my channel and thank you for subscribing. Hit the thumbs up so I know that you're liking it and I'm going to keep putting content in here. I have as you know, just gotten done not too long ago with the Sacred Heart Fire Reiki Retreat with Debbie Jade and more women of success there. So uh, I've been practicing my Sacred Heart Fire Reiki and that has been really beneficial to me. I spoke on my last YouTube about some of the benefits of what I've been receiving from the teachings. So I just want to welcome everybody in to the weekly group, Purifying Your Spirit. I'll put the link below and um, we talk and that's what we do. We get in tune with ourselves and all our relations on that channel, on that Zoom call. And I'm Purifying Your Spirit and Debbie Jade's channel, Debbie Jade M on YouTube. So I will put all those links down below. But what I wanted to do today was something special and that's to acknowledge my sister, my friend, my mentor, my teacher, and her name is Julia Tsitsi Chigamba. She just returned from Zimbabwe. Maybe it's been about two weeks now. <laughs> and um, it was, I've looked at some of the pictures, some of the family pictures, some of the work that she did while she was out in Zimbabwe. And thank you so much. She brought healing to her father, Winsel Tute Chigamba. And I am just so happy and grateful that he is doing well and is on the mend. So thank you, Baba. Thank you so much. I also wanted to extend several thank, thank yous to the family out there in Zimbabwe. I've been gifted with some really, really, really special gifts from the motherland, from the Shona land, from Zimbabwe, from Hatfield, from the Chigamba family, and the whole community out there in Zimbabwe. So I want to say thank you and give you a special thanks for some of the gifts that I've received. Thank you, Julia. This is an amazing basket, a winnowing basket that we use to separate the seeds. You may see us um, dance with this basket and another basket on our head with the Tinukari Ensemble. Look at the detail. This is hand woven, hand woven, and it was gifted to me, to me, to me. So I have a bun on my head. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> put a butt on my head when I'm putting a basket on my head but anyway this is so beautiful and gorgeous and it is going to be in use <laughs> when I dance and right now it's just sitting in my living room next to my drums and it is giving me just such an uplifting feeling just looking at it and knowing that it's hand woven look at the detail amazing so thank you Tatenda, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, another item that I've been craving, what? One of the staple foods from Zimbabwe called, type it in the chat, <laughs> all of us sadza lovers. I love sadza. I've been sold on sadza for many, many, many moons. Thank you again, Julia. Thank you everyone that has ever made sadza for me and I am I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting there, you know, 20 years at this, you know, I don't really have the sadza down yet. Are you kidding me? But now that I have one of the pots that are the original English, English pot, the English pot that was <laughs> dropped into the country and used to make sadza. So, and I think there is something else inside of my pot. Oh boy. <laughs> Now this is really special. This is actually tobacco and it's uh, made in a way uh, to make snuff. So it's, it's, it's a traditional way of um, utilizing tobacco in Zimbabwe. And so, yeah, I, will, I, will, I might show you how to process that so that we could actually use the snuff. But this was in my pot. Also, a few of the seeds that we may use 
in the separation of seeds in the flat basket. So thank you for that. My next special gifts from Zimbabwe, gift from Zimbabwe, very special gift. Julia's sister Nerai gave me a beautiful tote bag. Thank you, Nerai. I will cherish this so much. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So personal, personal thanks of gratitude for sending me that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it, I believe, as, well, I know, I'm going to use it. But I'm going to use it in a very special way to carry my very own Mbira in. I'm going to wrap my Mbira and I'm going to put it in that tote. So everything is going to be used traditionally. And um, yeah, so I'm just really over the moon with all of my gifts. And so, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tatenda. So, if you want to learn more about some traditional works in Zimbabwe, other things. Oh, you know what? I have something else around the house that I need to say thank you to Kelly Chiang for. I received these on Etsy. Really, I received these from a wonderful woman in our community named Jean, and she's helping to support Kelly Chigamba with her beading. And it's just, they're just gorgeous. And this is actually the pattern. And I may have mentioned it before in one of my um, postings on YouTube that um, Ruth Boehner Gisberg is, was, well, you know, she was an icon. Oops. But she used this particular weaving pattern that is only done by very few uh, peoples of Africa and the Chigamba family, Kelly Chigamba, knows how to bead in the same way that Ruth Boehner Gisberg wore her collar on her. She was on the Supreme Court and served for many, many years and she wore that traditional African collar on her robe. So big ups for that. So just bringing back a little history for you. And like, subscribe, share. If you liked anything in this post, please let me know. And I will put all those links below. Uh, until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Love ya.